Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Drizzle ORM. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD REST API using Postgres. In the last video, we have discussed the CRUD REST API using MySQL. Now we are going to do with the Postgres. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So this video is the extension of the tutorial. I think first or the second, which we have the Postgres. So I'm just uh, adding the CRUD operations to that module. Okay, so if, if you haven't watched that video, just go and watch it. And then you can integrate this CRUD operations in the Postgres. Okay, let's get started. So here, let me open the PG admin for this. And uh, let's switch back to the code. Let's close this. Terminal, let's open with the another one that we have a Postgres. Okay, let's open with the terminal and uh, NVM use 20 node version and we will run NPM start. Okay, let's update the code for the CRUD operations. Let me close this also. Let me open the code base with this and here we have an index file. Let's replace this with the, our Postgres CRUD so here we have index.ts let's go with this one and let's update the code okay i think there would be no issues in that word wrap this okay fine let's start so here we have a express and request response from the express db user and the equivalent equal to you can say about right then we have initialized the express app and here we have the port okay middleware to pass the JSON body and this is a get request now we are going to create or insert the user record into the table okay so if i go to the pg admin if i just logged in with my server test and uh, i think rest api we have and here we have a users column let's view all rows so here we have the full name and the phone right so let's go with that one okay so the schema should we will go with the full name so users to create and how many current users we have one right so let's go to the postman and make a request of the post and make it the users okay and here we require the full name so let's update with the full name and here we will put our full name so john and here we require the phone so let's add the phone over here okay so this is dummy phone let's try to send this i think we have to restart again server is not already there okay so let's send it id is uh, you can see full name and the phone is returned with the id2 let's go to the postgres and record is added we will add with qq record let's try to send it and let's try to run it record is inserted so what is the method over here so here you can see that this is a post endpoint for creating the user then we have a request dot body where is retrieve the full name and the phone so how to insert that await db dot insert values and returning make sure returning is only possible with the postgres not the mysql okay so that's the difference then we are returning that one okay if something goes wrong then it will go to the response dot status okay error dot message right next read select all one so just dp dot select from user nothing else okay and just go meta request of the get and let's send it and you will retrieve all the re all the data that we have inserted into the db easy next select by id so here we have to need the params for id and how to select the data from user where equal to user dot id id and return that result okay so let's pay, put the any of the record that is two so let's return it so you can see that the john 11 is returned okay id2 next one we have update i want to update that record so i update the user require the full name and the phone whatever you want to update and then return the user with data or updated data right so here we are adding the returning this is also not possible in the mysql Drizzle ORM, right 
So let's check it, updating that part. So ID second, I'm going to update. And with the John, I'm going to replace it by the Rajni Kant. And the phone number, let's see, with 999, I want to update. Let's try to send it. And it's updated. It's not updated. Why? Because it's not a put request. Okay. Update it. 200 is there. But uh, I think response.result is not coming. Uh, of, let's have a look it is updated or not or uh, here we go with this one preview something not or something we went wrong I think it's a put request right or what it's a put users by ID and it should work let's have a look to the EPG admin is it updated so we have updated the second record right so it's not updated so something is not good here so might be the post or what nothing in console there is error no so what we did wrong let's have a look so it's user id and uh, full name and the phone Await has no effect. Okay. But here it's a effect. Percent. Quest dot body. This is strange. Let's have a look that is it working with that one. We get to retrieve the something or not. Console dot log with ID or there is issue with uh, let's print the ID of that one so let's see npm start let's have a look we're printing or not so let's have a look ID 2 is there okay let's go with the request dot body is it printing well or not body let's try to run it full name on the phone is there okay what else let's print the result then we will come to know about that what exactly the issue is console.log result okay let's have a look function returning that means await is not working okay let's wrap this because that needs to be there otherwise it will not work okay so here we go with this one user dot id asynchronous why it's not working with this one oh, we have mentioned the sync and response with this one then I think we need to then handle with the like a sync or I think is await is already there. I think promise will work. Just give me a one minute. I will check this one, rectifying what exactly the issue is. Just give me one minute. I have just removed the returning from here, and uh, I think that await is now it's not showing that it's not required. Okay, let's try to send it again. Hide this send, and here you can see that the I think it's updated. Let's have a look of that one okay let's have a look second record is updated or not second record is there let's so here you can see that it's updated now okay so we have to just return the data accordingly so i think um, 
in the result i think we retrieve uh, i think id is already there okay so we can use something like this and return the data like this okay so not not to worry about this one so where where it is updated so there is the update part right so just add this and make it uh, result response and make it like uh, this one okay just give me a second two and let's comment this and here we have the select from this user id already there let's try to send it again let's do this one okay let's try to update this here you can see that it's updated data is returned if i go with aa let's try to send it again a is updated and same you can see that here it's working okay the last one that is delete one and it's very very simple on that just you need to pass the user id and returning that id just require the params id okay and let's try to delete the third second record and make a delete request over here let's try to send it and the deleted let's go and check the second record it's deleted right so very easy very simple any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day